House Divided Falls. My name is Bridger Raimundo and I am presenting the Safe Squad app. Now I'm sure during this coronavirus pandemic thing, you've noticed there's a lot of craziness. Now I want you to imagine yourself in this position, but as a high schooler. High school is insane. There is a lot of complications that are happening right now, studying from school, but there's also a lot of complications studying at school. So I want to address these problems. First of all, there's COVID cases. Safe Squad is meant to prevent these COVID cases from happening since an individual within the public can report on dangerous locations and situations. There's also school fights. Safe Squad is meant to send authorities and other officials to that location to neutralize the threat or, you know, get two rather rampagent boys away from each other. Thirdly, there's mass shootings. Now, the fact of life is, is that right now mass shootings are unpreventable. The best we can do is prevent teens from becoming the next casualty. So Safe Squad is meant for those individuals to know to avoid that location. For, uh, for students without phones, we want to distribute QR patches. These QR patches can be scanned so that we know the location of the student and we can be assured that they are out of the way of an emergency, say a fire, but also trace COVID cases. So in conclusion, high school is crazy, but also if you can imagine a better future, one where it's not just every man for himself, then try Safe Squad. Thank you. Yay. I didn't even feel like I need the drum and the cymbal, Bridget. You nailed it. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Shannon? I'm, I'm sorry. You're muted. I'm so sorry. Wonderful job. And uh, I was saying it's so important for students to feel safe, um, high school students um, as well. And I love that you created uh, an app around that. Um, tell me a little bit more of, have you uh, started to socialize it with uh, schools or other students and what kind of feedback have you received so far? Well, actually right now I'm testing the market. In the Granite District, they're using the um, Healthy Together app to track COVID cases. And there are also a few much more less noticed apps for mass shootings, but I want to combine a lot of the most dangerous situations into one app so that um, it's more commonly used. Wonderful, thank you. Wonderful idea, uh, Bridget. You, uh, you know, I think you're you're trying to socialize. You know, community monitoring, which I think is, you know, is certainly a wonderful idea. Certainly would make high school feel much safer, uh, regardless of what the what that danger might be. Uh, have you thought about uh, the potential of integration with other social media platforms for easier uh, communication through that platform, through your, through Safe Squad? I see. So something similar to like Instagram's uh, reporting on the CDC. Uh, yes. I mean, I think a lot of what, what the, the benefit of having applications that are now interconnected is that it does allow you to be able to leverage you know, tools that many of your users probably already have that actually enhance your own delivery of services. Uh, so just a potential idea, but I, I do like, I do like the concept very much. Well, thank you. Yeah, I would definitely consider that. It's just a lot more difficult to be working with um, a major corporation such as Instagram, Snapchat, than it is to work with a school. Bridget, great. You know, I think you're hitting on something that's really important. I have a high school son and he has been, you know, a little uneasy with all the things that are going on in the world. So I think you're definitely hitting a spot that's important to lots of kids and parents right now. Um, have you, um, well, it made me think about when you were talking in my own school district, we have a badge system um, and it's I don't have it on me. It's just a little rectangle and we wear it on our on a lanyard all day long. And if there is a situation in the building, we click um, the button a certain amount of times. And anybody that carries one of those can lock down the building if say there's an active shooter or something. Um, and so as you were talking about, it made me think about, you know, not all students have cell phones. So I wonder if you've considered a, a totally secondary device, much like what we would carry um, in my school district um, that if there is a situation, active shooter or something else, someone is even having a medical issue, that that could be a way to integrate it too and really make sure that um, 
everyone has access to it and not just someone with a cell phone. Yeah, as I mentioned with the QR patches, uh, we want to scan those to take attendance, but using that device to scan the QR code, you can also report. So I'm thinking there should only be one per classroom since there's already enough students within a classroom to report on a dangerous situation. Great, keep up the good work. Definitely. Thanks. Excellent work, Bridget. Look forward to hearing how that app idea progresses. And y'all on the back end, she's done a lot of work, a lot of market research and um, has developed this idea and taken it really far. So look forward to seeing the next steps.